hi guys welcome and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time being here thank you so much for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video today i'm gonna take you on the journey of how i designed uh, um, this mug, mug using sublimation now i made this mug for my five-year-old who is a girl who is graduated yes i can't believe i just had him five minutes ago and he's already graduate in kindergarten isn't he handsome now i'm gonna show you how i designed this mug and how i um put it together we are in cricket design space the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to go over here where it says projects and i am going to go to the search bar right here where it says search projects and you're going to type in mug set when it comes up you are going to look for this option the mug design setup okay you're gonna click on it when you click on it you're gonna scroll down and it's going to tell you um, about the different sizes. So here you see finished size and you have different options. You have the small straight edge, which is 12 ounce, which is a blank mug, then a large straight edge. Then you have the beveled straight edge and you have the stackable straight edge. Now the one that I'm going for is the 12 ounce small straight edge. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to press customize. Okay. When you press customize, it's when you press customize, it's gonna look like this. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to now upload the images that I want to use. Now the images that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go where it says upload. If you do not have your images saved, you should go here where it says upload image and they're gonna ask you to browse for your image and you're just going to go to where you, you've saved your image. But since I uploaded mine, I am just going to add them to my canvas. So I'm using this one, this one, and this one. now i'm gonna take my view down a little bit more because when the pictures come in they might come in very large and i will have to size them down right now uh, my view is at a hundred percent but i'm going to take it down just to 75 percent okay so if you notice if you look at it if you look on the layers panel the layers panel right here it's giving us exclamation mark. It means that our image is way too big, so we'll have to size them down. So I'm going to go down even further with my view, and I'm going to click off, and then I'm going to start pulling them apart. Okay, so they look very small now. It's just because I'm at my I'm at 25%. So I'm gonna take it up for you to see what I am doing. So that's the first picture that I'm going to use. This one I'm going to use it also, but I am going to put a black back black background on it i don't want it to look like this okay all right i'm going to hide my mug my mug wrap just just um a little bit okay 
because I want to work on the pictures first. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I am going to go over here and I'm gonna grab a shape, okay? I'm gonna grab a square. Because if you put this on the mug, it will may not show up as how I want it. And I'm going to stretch it out. So yeah, this. So this size is a 5.75 by 3 point by 7.35 if you look up here you see it's telling me the size of this one what i'm going to do i'm going to make this square the same size as this one okay so i'm going to change this square to 5.75 by 7.36 so i'm gonna click on it and i'm gonna unlock it so it's going to be 5.75 five by 7.369. Okay, and I'm going to lock it. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to create a more of a background for this um, picture right here. So I'm going to send this to the back. So for the shape, you're going to click, right click, and send it to the back. Okay, so when I send the shape to the back, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on the, this shape. I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to go up here where it says align and I'm going to align it center horizontally. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change that color shape to black. Right. You see how it pops. Right. You see how this um, look. Um, so nice with the black on it so what I'm gonna do now I'm going to select both of them and I am going to flatten it okay so now this becomes one image print then cut image and I think it looks so much better oops let me undo I don't want to lose the proportion Okay, it looks so much better. Now I have, let me take my view down a bit. Now I have two shapes, two different images that I'm working with. I have this one, that one, and the image of my son. I do, I'm going to put back my mug design and I know these images are way too big anyway. I know that I want the picture to be in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to grab my picture. I'm going to bring it over. And I'm going to size it down to fit that mug in the middle okay so it's way too big still way too big right there I know I want it to be like that okay so what these tabs do is that it just tells you at what position the picture is going to be. So if I put the picture here, it's going to be on the side. So this is going to be in the middle and that's where I, I want it to be. Okay. I also want to make it a little bit more smaller. Let me take it up a little bit so you see the view. It feels the view better. So that looks okay. That looks okay. 
if you want it to be in the center center all you have to do is click on the image press shift and then press mug wrap the blue one right here and then you go up here where it says align and you're going to center it okay all right now i have his picture in the middle i'm going to put the other two pictures at the side so let me take it down a little bit more just to get the pictures i know the pictures are way too big so i'm going to size them down and i want these to go on the side where it says kindergarten complete level time to level up and then I want this one to go on the other side that says first grade unlock level up. Okay. picture is way too big so you'll have to size it to what you want it looks small now because of the okay so I'm gonna take my view up now it's at 125 percent that's too much so let me take it down to 100 percent and I'm gonna bring it up for you to see okay so now what we're gonna just do is to fix these so that it fits nicely on the wrap okay what i'm going to do is I'm going to cut this picture a little bit smaller. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it down. I'm going to get a shape. I'm going to get a shape square. And I'm going to sl slice out this picture. Okay. Because I want space. Uh -huh. To do what I'm doing. So this picture is 2.62. I'm going to make it this 2.5 high. Unlock. I'm going to make this 2.5. Okay, then I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to slice it out. Let's see. Okay, that's out. This is the piece I want. This is out. I'm going to take these out. I'm going to put this back. Yeah, give me a little bit of space. Okay. So I'm going to press. Sh okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put something here. 
that says, let me take my text again. Brad. 2023. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take it down. I'm going to see if it fits here. Okay, so I'm I don't want any, I want the words on the mug. Okay. So I'm going to change the color to black. Let me try blue. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can put a small offset just to bring it off. So I'm going to go up here where it says offset and I'm going to press apply. Okay, that's fine. That is okay. And I'm going to group those together. So I'm gonna, I have the offset selected because it's showing blue. So I'm going to press shift and I'm going to press group. Shift and the word and then I'm going to press group. Okay, I'm going to change but the word to from blue to white. I'm going to show you why. All right, that's good. Yeah, I think this is okay. Let me take this down a little bit. And um, this group, I'm going to size it down a little, a little bit more. Okay. All right. So, what I'm going to do, the color that is there, the blue, the mug wrap right here. I'm I'm highlighting it right here over the layer panels right where I'm hovering. I'm going to change that to white. Okay. Now that looks good. I'm going to hide this one right here, the 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 size as I don't want it anymore. This one I'm gonna shift it over, center it a little bit more, and that looks okay. It looks really good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take off the uh, the small mug wrap that thing from around it and I'm going to select everything okay and I'm gonna go down here where it says flatten and I'm gonna flatten it and that looks good that looks good yeah this looks really nice and this is ready to be made mm -hmm. this is ready to be printed out and made so what I'm going to do, I'm going to press make it. And this is what it is going to look like. What you need to do is mirror your image. Okay. And then I'm go you're going to press continue. And I'm going to send it to my printer to be printed. Okay, so I'm going to select my printer. I'm going to pr select my Epson printer. I'm going to keep the bleed off because my bleed has been acting weird from the other day. And I'm going to use system dialog and then I'm going to press print. So I have a pretest already selected. And so what you'll need to do, you need to ensure that it is an approach portrait mode, um, premium presentation paper mat. Your quality should be high. And I'm going to do a job preview. Then you're going to go over to more options. And you're going to ensure, because I mirrored my image before, I'm going to take my mirror off. But if you did not mirror from Cricut Design Space, 
leave your mirror on and then I'm going to press. All right, before you, um, for the color correction, press advance and it's supposed to be an Adobe RGB, RGB and the gamma should be 2.2. I'm gonna press okay, I'm gonna press okay, then I'm gonna press print. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I cut out my design using my Cricut. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take my mug. So this is the mug that I'm using. It is a 20 ounce mug. You're gonna need heat resistant tape. You're going to need um, alcohol to clean your mug and you're going to need butcher paper. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna first take out my mug and I'm gonna clean it using the alcohol. After you clean your mug and it's dry, you lint roll. All right, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take it and you're gonna wrap it around your mug. And you're gonna wrap it as tight as you can. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take butcher paper and you're going to place it over it so that it doesn't mess up your mug press. Now I'm gonna put it in the mug press. Okay guys, so we're gonna see how it turned out. It, my mug press um, got finished and it, it has been cooling down for a little while. So let's see how it turned out. Hopefully it turned out nice. guys so this is the result look at that oh this came out so nice these white stuff on it are it's just um the residue from the paper you could just wipe that off but this is the result I'm not sure if you even see it so closely look at that wow it's still a bit hot look at that oh this is cute my son is gonna love it so if you find any value give me a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time i make a video until we meet again i'll see you in my next one bye bye